What's up, Star Wars fans? Jesse here, and I'm gonna be doing a Lego build today, which I'm pretty excited about. I wasn't expecting this set out till like close to the end of the year, November, December, but it has come out here. Zing Pop Culture Australia have got it. It is the Razor Crest from The Mandalorian. This set looks freaking badass. I'm gonna try to do a bit of a time lapse video um, and whack that in the middle of here, and when I sit down and go through it with you afterwards, we'll have a look at the minifigs and uh, go through all the different features this set has. So looking forward to it. Stick around and we'll, uh, we'll get into it. Here we are. The Razor Crest. This is, oh, I love this Lego set so much. It is fantastic. This was a lot of fun to put together. Um, it was a really good build. Some really great um, techniques used in this build. Um, and a couple of parts that I haven't actually encountered before with the sort of technique side of the frame uh, for, this, for this build. Um, overall, it looks great. The scale's pretty decent. Um, the minifigs are fantastic. Uh, the instruction book is pretty damn thick. Um, let's get some pages. There are 240 pages of instructions. And you know, if you excuse my table that's wobbling, um, I call this the uh, space slug because it's uh, not entirely stable. Um, so let's face the music and say, all right, you're all here to see Baby Yoda. So let's let's get a close up look at the child. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, it's so freaking adorable. Uh, he's got the little rubber head, so you're not going to break any ears, but it's literally just the head. And this is the first baby figure, I've, mini figure I've had. Um... I know there have been a couple of babies in the like, Lego City line and stuff, so. Uh, the rest, we have the Mandalorian. This is the same Mandalorian that came with the previous pack. It would have been cool um, to have a secondary print, um, particularly with this set being quite a pricey set. Um, would have been cool to maybe get an exclusive Mandalorian minifigure um, that maybe comes out further down the line. Um, but with more of the Beskar armor, because it's just a... Uh, repaint or a re-release not a repaint but a re-release from the um ATST. Uh, we have IG11 who is for all intents and purposes the same minifig as IG88. Um, it'd be cool to see an update of this of this character these droids at some point because um you know they will use the same body as the uh, battle droid anyway so but it'd be cool to see something a little bit different but he works. Next up, we've got Grief Karga, Carl Weathers, a great looking minifig. Um, he has two face prints, so I'll just spin the hair around with one hand. Get a bit more of a grumpy, stern looking Grief. But uh, yeah, he's, he's pretty cool too. I like him a lot. And lastly, we've got a Scout Trooper who is going to get dismantled because he punched the baby, and that's not cool. Um, this is a fantastic minifig, though. I've, I haven't had a Scout Trooper in a few years. Um, and there's just something about this. It looks fantastic. It could, could be exactly the same. I've got no idea. But for some reason, just pulling it out of the pack this time looks brilliant. So a cool little addition to the set. Now we'll, we'll just put them at the back. And we'll look at some of the features here. So we'll start with the cockpit. And there's simply just a sort of pull out. They've got the clips that sort of, um, they just sort of wedge in between them. Um, it's not like a flick open thing, but that's it's a little bit odd. You can access some, there's some clips there. You could have some extra weapons stashed in there. 
I thought about getting um, one of the one stud two tiles and putting it on the chair if I can find a red one so that um, Baby Yoda can sit in the middle. But it does sort of sit off to one side so that kind of works too. And uh, yeah, Mando fits in there pretty nicely. Uh, stickers, there are a few, uh, like on top here, a couple down the side, um, on the outsides here of these pieces. So we do we'll come around the back. We do have this folding down ramp, which is cool. That looks good. Um, pretty much all the side compartments open. It's more or less um, the side of the ship here. And what you get here is a couple of um, carbonite, carbonite blocks. To focus. This is tricky as one hand. There we go. So we've got the uh, the alien, the mithril from the show. It's pretty well done. Very reminiscent of the old Han and Carbonite from back in the day. Now I'm pretty sure that's meant to be George. Because from all apparent rumors, it was um, George Lucas that we saw um, in Carbonite. So they just sort of slot in there. It is a tight fit because they're um, very much made to not move at all. And I'm having a little trouble. There we go. I've got it. You really have to do, put them in straight. Um, this side, those turrets come down. That side panel comes down. There's a little bit of the interior there. Which is nice. Go over to this side. Oh, what I'll do, I'll bring it over the edge so I can bring this down a little bit further. There you go, you've got a weapons rack. It does say in the instructions to put the flick missiles in there, but I don't like the flick missiles. Um, but yeah, it does completely open up. Uh, as I was saying about flick missiles, they are in the front there and there. Um, I am going to Probably swap them out. I don't like the flick missiles. I've no desire to keep them in there. Normally, with most builds, I will um, put just a standard grey brick in just in just beforehand anyway. So I tend to just go into my spare parts box and get a couple of bricks and have them ready to go to put in place of the flick missiles. But I might even try and find a couple of these that go four wide. I'm not sure if they do. I'm not sure if there is one. Um, but I'll, fi I'll find a spot for them. So on the top, some cool little greebling sort of things. Um, now this top part here does come out. I don't know, it's meant to be a little escape pot, I suppose, of some sort. would have been just as cool to just have a flat build on top or with you know a little bit of greebling on it but it works we've got these fun things these are fun aren't they <laughs> oh you get to do about seven or eight of those um on each side for each of the um yeah <laughs> but yeah overall some opening doors some Cool stuff on this on this ship. I really like it a lot. I'm hoping to get one of those flight stands, um, but unnecessary because there is something's come loose in there. Uh oh, I'll work that out after. Um, does come with the uh, landing gear, which is cool because it just sits nicely. Um, yeah, really, really great set. I've been really excited about this one. It may motivate me to get my. Uh, Lego photography on again. But yeah, I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. Um, yeah, I've got a box of Lego, another set here to build. Um, I don't know if you want to see another time lapse, I might set this one up too, but I've got the uh, 
Galaxy's Edge Resistance Transport. Um, it's been sitting here for, for almost a week and I haven't touched it yet, which is unlike me, but yeah, just a great set. Definitely recommend it. Um, yeah. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel, like this video by hitting that thumbs up. It's just down there somewhere. And uh, yeah, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Till my next video, this is the way.